So we're back with a brand new product. This time we're checking out Aper, their pool cleaners. Now we covered them before in the past. Um, but this is the first time they're actually sending us their Siegel SE model. Uh, this is a great cordless robotic pool cleaner specifically designed for above ground or below ground pools. They can actually clean up to 850 square feet and they run for about 90 minutes before you have to take this thing out and recharge it. Additionally, charging time for this has been reduced. It's now only 2.5 hours to get this thing fully charged back up again and ready to go. Uh, it is a bottom of the pool one, so you just kind of drop it in. It's going to run around on the pool and then use a hook specifically to pull it right back out of the water and plug it back in for next time, which is great. But in the pool, it is cordless. There is no power cord, no vent line to a suction system. It just runs and runs and runs. Well, let's open up the box. Let's see what comes inside. We'll talk a little bit more and then we'll showcase it actually in use. Okay, so we have some uh, tips and clearly like a manual booklet. Oh yeah, English manual. And then some also guides, troubleshooting, nice. And we have the actual unit. Wow, so well protected. Wow, okay, so here are all the accessories. Bottom here, and this is the actual unit. There's also a silica pack in this, so be careful, make sure to properly dispose of that so no cats or children get it in place in their mouths. The fluid movement of that is actually pretty good, but it needs to be to be able to go underwater. So inside here is the trap. We can kind of clean this area out in here. Then you've got the powerhouse unit right in here. You can see all that being done. Seal that by clicking those two buttons there. Power button here, vents that go back and forth. And then here we have accessories. Okay, this is a hook that you can use specifically to attach to your um, one of your cleaner poles uh, for your pool. So you can use this to hook onto this and then lift this out of the pool. Really nice. So this is the power cord. It's going to specifically plug into the bottom here. That's right. And that's going to allow you to charge it up when it's not being used. On top of the uh, the pool hook, it does come with the accessories for placing at least two of the wheels for free included in it, which is very nice of them to do. Um, these units here can basically be used for that. They also include a brush and a replacement brush for the bottom. Keep in mind when you're charging it, you don't want to keep this thing um, upside down, but for installation of this, you just push this in here, clip, and push that in there. And then you've got the two brushes to help clean the unit up, especially involving the input right there. They do say specifically that you need to clean the filter after every use. 
so that way you don't get gunk stuck on the filter for later times. And then if you ever want to remove the wheels, you can just uh, push down the wheel, click out that piece and push down the wheel there. As you can see there, pulls right out, there's the stem protector and the actual wheel, and that's easy to reinstall. You push place until you hear that one pin piece, click it in. And if you need to remove the, uh, the brushes to replace them, those are right here next to the vents. You just pop these pieces out, and that'll pop that down. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Do rinse out the leaves that are trapped in here. It just fits right on there. that lock. When you turn this thing on, there will be a blue light that will indicate that it's ready to go. And you just drop that into the pool. It's going to activate usually around five seconds of reaching the bottom of your pool. At... When its battery is running low, it will blink red for 60 seconds and then shut off. And from that point, that's when you get the hook out, pull this out and charge it. They do recommend you clean off and dry off the port before you recharge it, so that way you're not getting water in between the two things, causing any issues or any problems there. Uh, again, this is recommended for pools with flat bottoms, not with less sloped curved bottoms. Very important to make sure that this thing's able to work properly and not flip over in the process of trying to clean. Another really cool, interesting option here is on the back pieces here, there are little flaps. You can actually get capsules little cleaning capsules in place in there. They're optional, of course. And then as it's being used, they will dissipate into the actual pool. There's actually two spots on there, which is really nice. So we're gonna take the Seagull SE and we're gonna actually put this into work and we'll be right back. Hopefully you guys found that interesting. You're gonna pick up one for yourself. This is a great tool for automating and making easier your cleaning of your pool. And that's always gonna be a plus. Hope you guys like this and we will see you guys 
next time. <laughs>